Hey guys, so just wanted to show you guys my car is warm. The outside temperature is probably around 27, which is about right with the news forecast. Um, wanted to show you guys what it is when you see a foamy dipstick on in your car. So this is a 2004 Mazda RX-8. Uh, I've had a foamy dipstick before, and uh, to be very honest, it's it's very disconcerting. The fact that a lot of people say that it's normal. Uh, this the little backstory in this is uh, so I'm part of a group you know, on Facebook, and you know a lot of people I believe are extremely misinformed. I just turned off my car. I'm gonna pop my hood and we're gonna pull the dipstick. Um, and just because it happens to a lot of people does not necessarily mean it's okay. It just means that the problem hasn't persisted to the point where it's. Um, it's a real problem. It doesn't mean there is no problem. It just means that, you know, it's not a problem. <clears throat> so with that said, uh, coolant leaks vary in level. You can have a minor leak, uh, which can show symptoms but not uh, cause any problems with your car. And you can have a major leak, which causes your car to blow smoke and lose compression. So I've experienced the range with this car when I first got it. So it was very minor. I had a foamy dipstick and then a lot of people told me it was condensation and blah, blah, blah. Ideally, there should never be any type of foam on your dipstick, uh, no matter what you think. Um, now that's my opinion and that's from experience. But uh, you know, ever since I've rebuilt my engine, I've never had a foamy dipstick and the temperature has dipped well below 30 degrees and above 60 degrees to up 90 degrees when in high humidity I've never had a foamy dipstick at all you know so with that said you know it's experience you know I don't I hate it when people try to call me out and say I'm wrong and you know I'm being insensitive by telling people that things are things are gonna be bad okay so now we're gonna go out and I'm gonna pull my dipstick I do very short spirited drives. Look at that. Perfectly clean. You know, other than the fact that I might need some oil, there's no foam at all. You know, and this is after short drives. I I, I live here in New York. There's no there's no such thing as a long daily drive that allows me to go above uh, above 60 miles per hour consistently you know I, I, I do about 10 mile drives every day or every trip so just so you got just so you guys know yesterday was a cool 44 degrees it's dropped 20 degrees or more since then it you know it's it's really not it's not ideal for any any type of engine and I have no condensation. I let it cool overnight last night. I checked this morning and and in the picture that I'm gonna post with this video, um, that picture was my car left outside overnight when the temperature was dropping from 44 degrees to 27 degrees in the morning, which is, that means it's been sitting out there for, let's say a cool nine, 10 hours. Uh, and you know, no condensation formed. Uh, none of that bullshit that people talk about. This is a freshly rebuilt engine that I did by myself. I made sure in, in a closed engine environment, you will never experience any type of water in your system. So the only way water can actually get into your system is from coolant. And if coolant is making its way into your engine, you have bigger problems because coolant is caustic. What might not be a problem now or four months from now, can be a problem eventually and it's gonna get expensive. Let me tell you, the first time I noticed foam on my dipstick, it was very little. That lasted maybe about a month before I noticed my tailpipe was blowing excessive amounts of smoke. And by then, you know, I was overheating and you know, if I didn't catch that early, I wasn't listening to my car, I didn't think it was important enough to check, 
I would have wrecked my engine. But I, I decided to go down, break down my engine. I rebuilt it. Guess what? I found four spots where the water seal was actually fractured and it was burnt. Uh, so, you know, take this for what it is. Uh, if you would like to stay in that little delusional state and say that, you know, a foamy dipstick is okay. A foamy dipstick is never okay in any car. It, just because just this is a rotary engine does not mean that principle changes. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.